We're here at the University of Massachusetts, Boston, where the Board of Trustees met today to discuss their deficit issue. Initially, the deficit was about $15 million. It's been cut to $7 million, but the, at the expense of courses and staff for the summer and next semester. After the Board of Trustees met, protesters met in the campus center's lobby. Our university is under attack. It's been under attack for years. The real deficit scandal here at UMass Boston is the scandal that was caused by the state by its withdrawal of support for the last real deficit. You see people coming together to defend this university, to keep our course offerings, to keep our staff and our faculty working. This is what we need together. We can win this battle. Education is a right of press. No trustees and the state itself owes us the resources, the proper funding, the proper resources to be able to do our job. It's really important to see that we need to make our voices heard because the cuts that they're asking for are really unreasonable. I mean, they're asking for all non-tenure track faculty that don't have a continuing contract, and that's not that many. We're going to be facing two to three years of, of extreme difficulty here in terms of staff and faculty and perhaps tuition hikes for the students. <clears throat> that's really uh, something we do not want to face, and we believe we should. We have the, the duty, the obligation to have our voice heard. While protesters admitted that the, the deficit was for a good cause, there are a lot of infrastructural improvements that have to be made around campus, they do not agree with where those cuts are being made as they think it really affects the students' well-being. For Boston University, I'm Charles Borsos.